What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you I am bringing you what's inside my mini EDC bag. This is my take on the Altoids skin version. This is everything you need survival inside of here. This is not your everyday purse emergency kit. This is I am going to survive any scenario and situation bag and I'm so excited to bring it to you guys today because I've done a larger version and I've been requested to do the smaller one and I just absolutely love the way that it turned out. I will be listing all the product links and information for you guys down below. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. I build a lot of kits here on my channel and without further ado, if you guys want to see what I put inside this bad boy, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, I am so excited to get into this. Excuse my voice. It is not all there. I have been sick the last week. We are going to hop into the video. First of all, this is my pouch. I love it so much. It is very fat, okay? If you guys have seen my other EDC videos, you will know that I have a large EDC, which is about this big, um, and it's quite thick. It's probably that thick, and I put it in my day bag, keep it in the car when I have a smaller purse. Now we have a smaller version, and I will always keep my larger one so I can keep it in my car and other things, but this will go into smaller bags. I had another little case that I had, which had a little mini EDC. It had some of the items in here, and I always kept it in there. And the most amazing thing is, when I needed things that were missing or I didn't replace them out of my EDC, the redundancy was amazing because it was still inside of here. So this is basically a kit that has all of your survival needs. I mean, any type of survival. This is if shit hits the fan, you're out somewhere, you need to survive. That is what is inside of here. This is my interpretation. Mostly men channels have this and hopefully this will be a good thing for you guys to have on you as moms when you're out on the go with your kids. As you guys know, I'm a mom of four, so I like to be prepared. So this is my interpretation of the EDC bag, which means everyday carry. There are so many on YouTube, you guys. It's so much fun to go down the rabbit hole, but this is more of a version of the Altoids can. Now, an Altoids tin, I should say, is very small, like this. So you can't really fit as much as I have fit in here. So I think this is a better version for me personally. I want to have everything that's in here and it is tight like if i open this it's going to explode and you guys will see that which i'm totally fine with because i'd rather have everything on me and you know what i didn't weigh it but it's not very heavy i could definitely fit this into any small bag that i have you can fit into a fanny pack whatever you're looking for and there are other colors of this i believe there's a cream and a black i honestly want all of them because they're real leather and they're such good quality you guys i'm pretty sure somebody said it was like a designer dupe this bag has gold detail it has a gold chain with a keychain at the end, so you can attach it to a bag on the inside if you'd like. I was thinking about taking it off. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll just leave it there. And when you open it, when you open it up, you can see that it is jammed pack. There are actually two other items that I'd like to put in here. I will go over those in a little bit, but I just want to give you an aerial shot. It's pretty crazy. So if you can see how much that like condenses everything once it's all zipped together. All right. So in this wallet, there is slots for cards, which I have put things inside of. We're going to just start from the top. And of course, you guys know that I have labeled everything. I shared these on my last video, which is my Amazon travel favorites. And there are these little pouches, which are amazing. So if you can see that I put little Tums in here, and I like this version because they don't crumble. I've put crumblier version in here and it was a huge mess. So definitely get the ones that are coated. Also sitting just right on the top in here, there's kind of this little pocket that everything's sitting inside of because it was all stuffed down in there. So there was a little bit of space. I have a little miniature screwdriver. I've taken some small Gorilla duct tape and I have wrapped it around here. So that way I have some duct tape on me if I need it. Then another thing that's really important, I feel like, is to have a good Tylenol on you. These are extra strength. These ones are also coated. Then on the top here, I did not label these. I just added a little bit of this to keep them dry that was inside of the bottle. These are water purifying tabs, and so I keep those in here as well. I know this seems a little crazy, but I hike, I do all kinds of crazy stuff, and God forbid I'm trapped somewhere, stuck somewhere, and I need to purify some water. I have some water purifying tabs to do that. Next up, sitting on top here, I have this compass 
it has a little thing here. You can put it on a jacket, but I just stuck it in here and it had really good reviews. So, and I like that it's very small and sleek and it fits in right on the top there. I like giving you guys an aerial shot so you guys can see inside. We'll get to this back pocket here in a second. I want to get through to the larger portions just so we can start clearing out the bag a little bit. All right, so stuffed in on the side here, I have some feminine products. I just have one short tampon. This is organic. And then one little panty liner. Even if you're a man, I feel like it would be good to carry this for your spouse. You would definitely be a hero if you did that. Now, tucked deep down in the back, I, I'm going to flip it over. I stuffed it to where the bottom part, this, is like way at the bottom. And it just makes it fit better. So you kind of have to strategize like... You want everything to be as flat as possible and you want it to be balanced in the bag. So you know, guys know I like standing everything up like file folders. I like labeling the top so you can see it at a glance. And then you, I stuff this at the bottom so I have more room at the top to stuff the other things that I showed you guys earlier. So in this little kit here, this is a my little miniature first aid kit. So inside of here, I have liquid skin. It's basically super glue. Then I have some NyQuil. Then we have some allergy medication, which is Benadryl. We have some burn cream. I bought a bunch of these off of Amazon. These are so great to have. Then I have some triple ointment cream. Then we have some alcohol prep pads. So these are butterfly bandages, which steri strips work better. I'm actually going to add some in here. I just ran out of them because I did steri strips on my son who needed stitches last week instead of getting him stitches and it turned out pretty good but if you can't get steri strips butterfly bandages are the next best option then we have some surgical blades there's so many different medical things you can use these for don't get them if you don't know how to use them it's kind of pointless and then we have just a bunch a variety of bandages different sizes i got a knuckle band-aid all those different ones and everything fits in here very flat that's the whole point of this so when you're putting things in here so see how everything's bunched up down at the bottom i know this is kind of very detailed but i know my girls that are watching this that love organization will appreciate it so now i'm putting it on the side of it so you can see the thickness so this is still a little bit higher up than this side so now we're going to put the bandages here you know what i mean so you want to just keep making it as flat as possible that's how you're going to get everything to fit into this pouch because it shouldn't fit but we just make it work so this went at the top here and then the ointments well i'll only probably need one when i'm on the road and then i'll just replenish and then we're going to stick these guys in here so see how we're just trying to make things as flat as possible and then we're going to stick the medication here like that okay so now it's as flat as it can be see that and we will bundle it up all right next up you guys know this wouldn't be an organization video of mine or a bag video of mine without floss i always have to have floss on me it's very irritating when i don't and then i also have some q-tips in here and some wisp these are like toothbrushes if you guys have never seen them I will be linking everything for you guys down below, but if you've never seen these, they have a little bit of toothpaste in them and you basically just start brushing your teeth. They're pretty amazing actually. All right, then we have these little guys where stuck on the top here. It says pins and bands. Okay, and all this has in it is I have these two little bands that were around something, another two rubber bands, safety pins, and then we have a couple of paper clips. There's so many things you guys can do with these. It's just good to have these are just great tools to have on you. And then another guy that was wedged on the side there is this one here. It's just a hair tie and a couple bobby pins, which I also think is mandatory. I also, this was like way, way, way far to the right hand side stuck into. And what I do is I kind of flip the pouch like this. And if there is room, I can kind of feel and I know where I have room to stick that. And that's kind of what I did here. I took it and I shoved it right here right where I saw there was space. So this one is a fire starting kit. I did not label this one. 
This little Ziploc bag, if you're looking for it, this came with something, so unfortunately I can't. But what you can do is, the kit that comes with this, there's, I believe, a size smaller than this that you can stick it inside of, and um, that'll work in there. But this is a fire starter. I will link it for you guys down below. I have one fireproof match, and I have two fire starters here. I have also a lighter in here. Um, I'll show you guys that in a second, but this is my little fire starting kit. Yes, this kit is very extensive, but this is more of a survivalist kit, EDC. This is not your normal purse emergency kit. I used to pack for beauty emergencies. I mean, I still do, but this is my top priority to have things like this. And I cannot tell you how many times I've used these kits. I've used them for everything. So many different things. Okay, so in here, I have two other little pouches. Oh, here they are. So this is the size of the one that I was talking about. So you could totally fit these guys in here. This one's just a little bit smaller, but you could fit them in here so you can read it. But it says multi flashlight and pen. So this is a little multi tool that I just got. It's so small. I love it. This is instead of my normal Swiss army knife. I think this one's actually better because it has all kinds of different tools on it. So when you open it, it has a pair of grippers, which is great. You can pull different things out and whatever it is you want to do. I'm not going to pull every little tool out, but there's like a knife and um, different little tools all on here. So I will link it, like I said, and you guys will be able to see all of the different tools that it comes with. It's a little bit pricier, but it's such good quality and it's very small and it fits in this little pouch perfectly. And oh, so what I love is... These two little guys stand up perfectly right here. And then I slide everything else right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, just so you can see how I'm putting things in here. I think that's important because some of you may not be able to get it in here like I did. I'm like a Tetris master, so hopefully you will see how I'm doing it. Then I have a little flashlight, which is actually really, really powerful for how small it is. This is a great one. I actually have a, another one that I keep in my day bag. Stay tuned for the day, bag, the day bag video. That will be coming soon because I want to repack it and I want to show you guys. And then we have this, which is really cool. This is a pen and it's a retractable pen. So you can put the lid on here and it closes back up and it folds very, very tiny. It also comes with refills for the ink. Okay, so then in this other little guy right here, on the top it says tweezers, clipper, lighter. So these are tweezers. These are, they're not the best tweezers, but I love how flat they fold. You just pinch them out and they're very pointy. So if you need to get out a splinter, these are great ones to have. I'm pretty sure they came in like a pack of three. And then I have a tiny little lighter. And then we have a pair of nail clippers, very tiny ones. And I like labeling everything. So if somebody needs to come in here and find something, I would say it's super important that they know where to find it. And then also too, if something's missing out of here, I don't have to sit here for five hours and be like, oh my gosh, what was in here? What was in here? I mean, I could always reference, reference this video, but if you don't have a video to reference to, at least you can look and see that it's labeled like, oh, my clippers are missing. And then you can replace them if you need to. Now we're in this back portion here. There are card slots, as you can see. First of all, I have these two little zip ties. They're very small. I could have put a bigger one, and but I think these would work just fine for anything that I would need. Then in this first little pouch here in the very back, this first slot, I have a antibacterial moist wipe. Then we have some hand sanitizer. And then in this next one here, I have another one of these little pouches and I have stevia in the raw, which I love. And then I have some Manuka honey. This is actually really good for you guys. There's so many healing properties and different things you can do with honey. If somebody needs a pick me up or they passed out and you need to put a little bit of this in their mouth, sugar really helps do that. Honey has so many different things. I would definitely look it up, but that goes in the next slot there. Okay. And then in the last slot here, we have some shout wipes which is self-explanatory. If you get a stain on your shirt, you can open this up and wipe it out. These are amazing. Tide sticks are my favorite, but obviously you can't fit a Tide stick in here. You know what? I think they have minis, but still might be kind of bulky. So I actually didn't like these card slots when I first got this, but now that they're here, they actually serve a purpose and hold everything 
that would normally be loose, they kind of corral everything together. So, and let me just show you guys what the bag looks like with nothing in it. It has black lining. It has this little chain here, which I told you I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it on there, but for now it's perfectly fine. And it is fairly thick, so you guys could use any other pouch that you want to. Like I said, this one is real leather, and I just like how sleek and expensive it looks. It really does look expensive in person. I actually have two things that did not make it into this video. They didn't get here in time. I normally carry very paracord, but paracord is way too big for something like this. So I actually found from another video some really strong super thin rope i will put a picture of it here and link it for you guys down below and i'm definitely going to stuff some of that on the side here to have with me and then i also have this little magnet all right i just want to show you guys where i ended up putting my little magnet right here this is what it looks like Oop, just stuck to that <laughs> i put it right at the top of this little bag here i think it'll fit perfectly and um i will always update you guys on things that I add to my pouch, but I love this. Hopefully this will be beneficial to you guys and that's it. All right, so next I'm gonna show you guys how I pack everything inside of here. First, I always stuff these pockets first. We're gonna do the moist wipes and the hand sanitizer up top. Then we're going to grab the Manuka honey and the Stevia, that goes in the next slot. And then we're gonna do the shot wipe that goes in the very last one okay so that goes in there I like to stuff the things that go on the side which is this guy here I'm gonna stuff him on the far right this guy goes in there too but I like to see where the space is once everything's in there so we're gonna add these guys in next the tools okay those go all the way to the bottom so make sure you can see where things are i push those all the way down then we're going to grab the floss that goes right behind those two and then this guy goes right behind that now keep in mind these go all the way to the bottom so i'm stuffing these down and i'm kind of seeing if i can feel them down here just to make sure I have more room at the top to put other things, if you can see that. I got little pockets of area. And then make sure they're spread out and flat. You don't want things to be overlapping each other. Then I am sticking this guy, which is the hair ties on the side here. And then we have these little guys here on the side of that. Okay, so those go here and here next so that's all that goes towards the bottom now these items get tucked in more towards the top now that all that's in i can actually feel around and see where i can put this guy so usually it's on this side so i'm going to move this stuff down because i can feel the space right here actually i can just stick it right here because i can feel the space that i have so i'm going to stick those right here and now i can feel that's where the space is for that I have my two little guys here actually just stick those up top and put those on the side then we're gonna take the meds those just go on top so I like having the big ones in the center because that's where the most space is it appears and then I'm gonna take the other little pills and stick those on the side here okay so now those kind of sit at the top because we have like I said a little bit more room up here then we're going to stick this guy on the side. We're going to stick this guy right there. And then now we're going to take our little tool and he's just going to go right on top. And you kind of want to manipulate everything and kind of just squeeze like this. And you want to think of it like a compression packing cube. It's going to be really tight. So you want to just manipulate it until you can see the top kind of coming together and then I just push it all down there to make sure nothing's stuck in the zippers so kind of flap everything down okay so like I said it is a very very tight squeeze now obviously you guys this is make this your own if you don't like the things that i put in here or you could live without certain things or you don't want all the lighters or the ways to start fire 
make it your own. And it could be smaller than this, but it does fit. It's just very, it's just a very tight squeeze. And it's only for emergency, so it's not like I get in here every single day. I don't get in here unless I absolutely need it. I have other places in my purse to keep things that I use like my chapstick and other things like that that I need every single day. This is not for every day. This is for emergencies. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed what was inside my mini EDC bag. I had so much fun putting this together for you. My intention is always that it's useful for you guys. If you enjoyed this, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.